Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're so motivated to do so. This is Wonders of a Black Woman. <laughs> Say oops upside your head. 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 Say oops. Okay, a lot of us have heard about this lady who was hit in the face with a brick by a man that she claimed was trying to get her telephone number and she rejected him. So in retaliation, he came and hit her in the face with a brick. And a, there were a bunch of people around and no one, male or female, uh, attempted to stop him uh, from hitting her. No one tried to hold him after he hit her. So the police can get him. So she's just really upset that um this happened let's watch a clip hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch Everybody and they don't give a brick is. yeah this, that, is. this man hit me he grabbed a rock and he hit me in my face because i would have given him my number brick and is. all y'all just watch what do you want to do what do you want to do i want y'all to be a man i want y'all to be a man Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face? What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these is watching. And nobody does nothing. Okay, so I think that people are confused. Um, they think that because that Montgomery Brawl thing kicked off, that anytime they see someone getting attacked or they people think that if they get attacked publicly there's going to be some mysterious cavalry that ascends from the clouds and out of the water and saves or protects them that's just unrealistic that's that's not going to happen sweetheart um now from my understanding the man supposedly tried to get her number. She said, no, it wasn't just that instantaneous, you know, and we as women, let's be realistic. We've, we've dealt with situations where men are too aggressive. Um, they can't handle rejection. Uh, I've had those experiences myself where, you know, I wasn't interested in, if you're not interested, you're not interested. It doesn't matter if the guy is polite or nice or this or that, or approaches you or in a nice way and stuff like that. Now, from what I can say to women is you should at least let the man down in a polite way. If you're not interested or you don't feel like being bothered, you're tired, you don't feel like anyone hitting on you. Or, or hitting, meaning, you know, approaching you, not literally hitting. Um, like, if, you, if you're just not genuinely interested, you don't have to make a big spectacle of the guy because he has feelings too. So, um, but I know some women who are very blunt and brutal with, saying that they're not interested and because a lot of these men are overly soft in this in the middle um and dealing with mental health and emotional issues they have problems with rejection so uh unfortunately you may end up in a situation where you get clocked to the face and he hits me in my face and they all just watch and they let that get in a car how is this okay? This is what y'all 
don't do it to women. Now she's saying, is this what y'all are doing to women? This happens to women and a lot worse. Some women are actually the R word. You know, some men don't take no for an answer, period. They will R S A you. They will do something to you. Um, she was hit in the face of the brick. Obviously, she's fucked up. She looks, she she's fucked up. You fucked her up. So hopefully her wounds will heal. But, but this was supposed to have been an exchange that she had had with this guy. Um, let me just show you this clip here. The guy was supposed to have. Now, that clip that we saw, she was saying something to him from what I gather he may have physically tried to get a feel on her behind or something like that, her butt, because I heard somebody saying it is a big butt, you know, after she had checked him and saying, don't you ever do that again or something like that, and then twerked herself. Um... You, you're out of these clubs. Some of these guys think that they can cop the feel. Some, most women don't like that. You know, yeah, there are some women who like aggressive men and stuff that'll come up, grab their hand or grab their arm, you know, or, or compliment their breasts or their butt or, you know, give them a slap. Most women don't want a stranger coming up to them, approaching them that way. <clears throat> and sometimes when people are drunk, they are uninhibited. So they do things that they normally wouldn't do. So this guy approached her in a way that was she felt was inappropriate. She, in a public display, checked him. And in retaliation, he decided to bust her upside her face in a public fashion. And the problem with a lot of, a lot, not all, I mean, you know, I don't like when something happens and people want to classify all women, all black women, all black men, all black. This is an incident that happened to this particular black woman. And some people are saying that she's just doing this for clicks and for abuse and this and that. I doubt if she would get herself busted in the face for this. She, you know, and some people are saying she's capitalizing off of this. You know, whatever is going on, and I always say this, and, and not just I'll say this for this situation or any situation we discuss on this channel. This is stuff that does happen and can happen, and we can discuss these things that go viral um, to put it in context of what we can learn from these things or just to have discussion about these things. So whether something is totally made up like the Carly Russell thing or if something is going on like with the Steve Harvey thing where is it, is it true or isn't it true? Or if something is like this, it's something for us to, in the public, just discuss and learn from and grow from because yes there are women who are assaulted for rejecting men's advances there are women who are sa'd for in rejecting a man's advance there are women who are deleted for rejecting a man's advance so there's nothing new about this under the sun but what was disappointing to me is a lot of the men out here reacting as if she somehow deserved this to happen to her. You have a lot of these men out here who are just weak. You know, they're just weak. They want to prove that they are strong by attacking women. You know, and a lot of times these men don't understand rejection and it's okay to be rejected. You cannot be with every woman in the world. So every woman in the world that you approach is not going to want you or be attracted to you. And it's okay. 
you know, some, uh, you know, it, it really amazes me how these men follow other men on the social media platforms for their advice on how to treat women, how to approach women, how to build relationships. And it's amazing how many of them have just given up. And it's, it's like, okay, if you're writing off women, then what are you doing for your natural desires for sexual activity? Are you going to other men now? Are you using them AI robots and blow up dolls? What are you doing? So you can't really take advice from men. A lot of these channels from, from men are how to approach women, how to treat women, how to handle rejection and different things like that. A lot of them are not uh, are, are men who are not in any type of successful relationships. So if I want to become an entrepreneur and a successful business owner, I'm not going to keep going to somebody who's failed at it and failed at it and failed at it and failed at it. Now, sometimes people can learn from their failures, but then eventually find success and they can tell you what not to do from their failures and what they did right to find their success. But you're getting advice from men who haven't found success, just like with the late Kevin Samuels. He hasn't, he didn't find success in relationships, but he's critiquing women, telling them what they can get and cannot get and telling men this and that and so forth and so on. But you yourself are, are, do, are not in a successful relationship. Anybody can just hold from one person to the next, hop from one bed to the next bed, to the next bed, to the next bed. If that's what you're looking for, fine. But a lot of these men out here don't know how to approach women. And if they do, like I said, approach women in a, in a certain way, you have to accept the rejection because everybody is not going to want you. You can come to them. And you, I mean, everybody's swag is different. You know, some women like the, yo, what's up? Some women like, hi, miss, how are you doing? Some women like to be approached by, hey, queen, how are you? You have to figure out as a man what is you're comfortable with and present yourself. And either it's accepted or rejected. If it's rejected, you don't have to bust nobody in the face. And a lot of you women out here need to stop having nasty attitudes. You do. Because I know in my own personal life, a lot of you women have nasty fucking attitudes. You act like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You act like you're mad at everybody. You know, and this is just for me as a woman. I'm not trying to approach you as, as no lover or anything like that. I could go to work. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Good morning. And then if people are looking like they got the weight of the world on their shoulders or or, you know, I mean, it's just, I, it's just, I noticed that I'm, and I, I, it's like, stop acting like the weight of the fucking world is on your shoulders. You know, smile. If you wanted to go out, have fun. If you, if you get approached and you're not interested, just say, hey, that's okay. I'm good. You know, how you doing though? All right, you have a good night now and just walk off or just like, I mean, you know, but this girl right here, she got fucked up and it's disappointing how so many men on the social media is like laughing, celebrating what happened to her, saying that she deserved it. It's just really pathetic. like don't understand like i'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago like literally spending my whole money not bothering nobody like what the fuck kind of shit is this i'm in the parking lot just trying to buy some food and like i'm literally like why is this busted up on me like this and i'm looking at all these they literally let this do all of this they let this like really like do all of that I never thought it was gonna happen, yo. Oh, girl, look. A lot of them men are probably beating the shit out of their women themselves or have beat the shit out of a woman.
So, I mean, you have to look at this culture. A lot of these men actually uh, hit and beat women themselves. So them seeing another man beat the crap out of you, that's nothing to them. I mean, you know, they're, they're just probably surprised that he hit you one time. I mean, he could have kept on wailing and wailing and wailing on her with the brick. She's expecting these men, which these are the same men who probably are beating the shit out of the women that they did. I'm just so whack. And he's going to get away with it. He got in a car. He got away. He's never going to get caught. He's going to move on. He's probably at an after party right now having a good time. Do you feel good about yourself doing this to a woman? For what? Like, all this violence against black women is not okay. Like, what do I do to deserve this? Like, how, what is my defense against this? Still, it's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I got to take it slow for a week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's going to give me that kind of grace. So, you know, I still got a mother. I still got to teach. I still got to work. <laughs> I really just want the best for everybody, and I don't know why people want to kill me. I can't even chew food the next week. <laughs> I had a vacation that I planned six months ago for my birthday. All right, we don't need to get all in all that, but, you know, look. <clears throat> the bottom line is you have a lot of these people out here who don't give a damn about hitting women. In some countries, they they will do worse to you than that. And yes, they will get away with it. Um, only thing I can say to ladies out here is just be, be careful, be diligent, be safe. Um, you know, when you're going in certain environments like these nightclubs or whatever. But, I mean, there are women, you're walking down the street, guys are trying to approach you and talk to you and get your number. You could be in the supermarket. You know, it's just the way it is. This is an unfortunate incident that happened to her. Yes, we have to change the culture. You men need to stop listening to these types of guys that are giving you bad advice on how to treat women. Giving you bad advice about how to approach women and handle rejection. If you think every single woman you approach is going to be attracted to you and want to be with you, you're a fool, you're in a fantasy, and you're sadly mistaken. And as far as you women are concerned, sometimes you have to let these men down gently. Sometimes you do have to realize the way you are dressed and, and you're going to garner certain type of attention. So if you're, and I'm not saying that anyone deserves for anyone to touch them in a sexualized manner or lay hands on your body in any type of way. But if you're going to be running around with tight clothes, ass out, titties out, running around with, with this type of, of stuff on, you're going to get attention. That's just as simple as that. And it's not always going to be the proper attention that you're looking for. You're going to have, oh, I, they, I mean, I understand that when I, when I, I, I understand you're going to get some men will touch you in places that you uh, just not, uh, uh, but you have to know that if you are, every action has a reaction and that's what I would tell you ladies out here. Every action has a reaction. So if you're going to walk out dressed a certain way there are some women that i know who dress certain scantily clad ways but they'll go out with their man or they'll go out with men and other people with them so they're in a, a group you know but if you're going to walk out and you're going to be dressed a certain way you're going to get a certain amount of attention and unfortunately there are men who are going to think that they have a right to touch you 
they have a right to approach you they have a right to ask for your number and if you don't give them the answer that they're looking for some of them will feel like they have the right to stalk you harass you throw something at you spit on you hit you and different things like that so just please be careful out here ladies and understand the ramifications of your actions and men you should understand the ramifications of your actions this guy will be caught obviously she has a video of him so someone's gonna recognize him he will be caught so i hope justice is served thank you for listening thank you for watching this is the workshop like share and subscribe peace